my channel today's video is the highly highly requested casual home tour I'm calling it casual because we are in the process of moving into our home we have been building for about a year now and planning for two planning prepping it's been a long journey and we are finally moved in not everything is here yet but before we <laughs> really get settled. I wanted to just take you around and give you a tour of where we are at in the process, share with you some of the details and selections that we made in the process. So we are in the Midwest in South Dakota. We built a two story home with a walkout basement on a beautiful piece of land. I am very much looking forward to sharing lots more here on my channel as far as decorating, and organizing we have so much <laughs> to do i'm not really going to talk about the furniture or items in the room because all of that will most likely change as we bring the rest of our things into our home and really get a feel for the space so today i just really want to share with you the rooms and just the different spaces and things that we chose as we were building our home yeah to say that we are excited is an understatement it just feels so good to be home it's actually really hard to record with the windows, but this is our front door. I do plan to share more on the outside once that is all complete, and I already have in the works a front porch video coming up, so that will be fun, and I will show all that to you at that point. But here's our front door. I just wanted to make sure I had enough space for a bench and a table to decorate. Of course, not much has been done yet, but we did a black door on both sides and then we also did an entryway closet there's the blue tape little dings that need to get repaired but we just really wanted the storage so my office is right off of the front door as well and that does not have a closet so this closet is a very good size it's actually a combination front coat closet and i'm also planning to store a lot of my office essentials in here all my camera equipment, a printer, my Cricut will eventually go in here. Uh, so I did some drawers, lots of shelving that will need to be adjusted. And so yeah, this is my dump and go at this point. Nothing is organized, but I wanted to at least share with you the closet. We did have a closet company come in and install all of that one thing I do like is that all of the shelves are adjustable so I can really adjust them to fit our specific needs quick overview of our main floor we did do a main floor primary suite so our bedroom is on the main floor we plan to grow old here 
I don't know if I ever want to move again, honestly. It was so much work. We aren't even done yet. We have nine foot ceilings throughout the house with the exception of our living room. We did like an open two story, which we can talk about that here in a little bit. As for the floors, we did LVP all throughout the main floor with the exception the bedrooms all have carpet. That was a preference that my husband had and I was okay with that. The floors are by Mannington. They are the Adura Swiss, no, Adura Max LVP. They are a Swiss oak truffle is the color. And I will try to put in the description box a lot of the things that I'm talking about today if you have any questions. Lots of adventures with cleaning these floors, I imagine. I don't even know where to start first. Let's just go into the living room here. So we have an open two-story. These are faux beams. You did such an awesome job on those. I actually chose a large ceiling fan. Fireplace is El Dorado stone. It's actually a stone veneer. And I actually chose the brick color for the inside. I saw this in person. I had no idea what I wanted. And they had a sample of this on the counter. I was like, that is the one. It is so pretty. It's called chalk dust. Again, I'll put that in the description. We did some open shelving on both sides and some cabinets, so I'm really looking forward to decorating those. I should say too, there's a couple of lights throughout the house that I will most likely change down the road, probably nowhere soon. I really wanna get everything moved in and decorate and just really understand the space and see how it all looks before I go changing anything. So like our foyer light there, I'm not a huge fan of it. It came out more gold than the pictures showed. I don't like not like it, but I don't like it either. So I don't know, we're just going to wait and see. I'm already dreaming about my Christmas decor and where the tree will go. How big of a tree should we do? And it's going to be so much fun, oh my gosh. Christmas this year and all the decorating. I cannot wait. So let's go into the kitchen. did white shaker style with a stained onyx. This is actually Naughty Alder. See, blue tape, more of it. <laughs> but it's a stained Naughty Alder, like a black finish or an onyx color. And we did cabinets right there while we're looking at this space. So plenty in the store, a lot of the kids' art supplies there, random, but we sit at the bar all the time. We did have a slight issue with our hood vent. My contractor ended up making this one and he did such an awesome job, but he stained it to match the island. I am already envisioning a beautiful wreath there for Christmas, maybe even fall as well. Cannot wait, I've never had a fancy hood vent like this. All of our hardware, I did champagne bronze. Ordered all those from Amazon did a champagne bronze faucet as well. That's a Delta. And then the appliances are basically what I match the hardware to. These are all cafe, GE cafe appliances and the matte white. I've never had a gas range before and it has been 
so amazing. We love it so much. That's like my favorite appliance right there. <laughs> and then there's the view of the island from this side. We did the dishwasher in the island. We did all kinds of fun, different cabinets. We got our, like our pull out garbages. When we do kitchen organizing, I will share more of what's inside them because trust me, you don't want to see in them right now. We did a large 36 inch fire clay sink. I am obsessive with keeping it clean. <laughs> so it's a real problem, but I love it. Again, we have never had a sink like this. I was a little bit worried, but I love it so much. Yeah, so we did, okay, I did lighted cabinets up on the top, just on this coffee bar area, so that'll be fun to add different decor in those throughout the seasons. And I decided to keep those closed. I didn't want things to look too cluttered and busy, and so just a couple of those cabinets. And I think I'm happy with that for sure. There's a lot of things throughout this build that I have second guessed, but Overall, with the kitchen design, I love it. The fridge does stick out, and that is my bad. I went back and looked, and I ordered the wrong size refrigerator. So we'll see what ends up with that, but as of right now, I mean, I cannot complain. We love, 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 love this kitchen. We did quartz countertops. These are by Corian. Corian Quartz E30 White is the color. And I just like them because the veining was very simple. It wasn't too bold. And there's really, I pull gray and I see beige in it when I do look at it. So these have been a dream. Backsplash, it's not coming across. It's not doing justice right now. I cannot remember the exact name of these, but I will make sure to link it down below. I fell in love with them because they do have a little bit of a texture to them. They have beige, gray, white, the pendants above the island are from Pottery Barn. These are the Flynn pendants. And they're growing on me every day. They're bigger than I anticipated, but I still really like them. But yeah, I could talk about this kitchen all day, but I better move on to the rest of the house. So we did a, it's a walk-in pantry right off to the side here. It's almost like a combination butler's pantry as well as just you know, your everyday pantry with shelves. I knew I wanted to have extra countertop, a beverage refrigerator. We really loved that in our other house. And so this has been working out so well. It's actually a pass-through pantry. So walking from the garage, you can walk through the pantry with your groceries. What I've been doing is I would just set them on the counter here and it's been going really well. I did a microwave on the counter for now mainly because it doesn't fit. It, it's just a little bit too big for my shelf and the kids actually like it here because they can reach it and make their, their own food. And then just off the kitchen in the other direction, we have a dining slash, we'll call it a sunroom. It's actually quite hard to record because it wants to make my camera extra dark. But we have a patio door right here. We are actually going to be building a deck off this side of the house. It's going to be a grilling deck. So my husband's going to put his grill and smokers out there. And that's also going to be our dog door that we fence off a dog run area as well for Charlie. His bed is just hanging out there. I just put it out of the way for right now today. So looking forward to adding that here this spring, summer-ish. And then we also have a, another deck out here that has not been built yet. They are coming in the next week or so to get started on that. So I'll share that in a vlog. It's going to be beautiful out there. Don't mind the balloon here, but as for the rest of the dining room, I purposely did not put a window here because I want to do I think I want to do a hutch. It's either a hutch or a sideboard, but I'm actually thinking I would prefer a hutch. And so I haven't ordered anything yet, but that's the plan to go in that little area right there. I did a circular light fixture. I believe this one came from Wayfair, mainly because I wanted the flexibility to have the table either go this way or the other way. This table does have leaf, so we extend it and 
I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of room for all of our family to come and enjoy some holidays with us. So I wanted to be just a little bit more flexible for now and we'll see where it goes. But also did a shiplap ceiling in this space. That's another faux beam. Same as the living room. Not only is it a dining room, but uh, my idea was to create almost like a dual purpose room where it still is a sunroom where we could put a chair in the corners and just sit and enjoy the view of the pond. Uh, things kind of change a little bit. Of course, we have one chair over here. We have a piano in that corner. So still a work in progress, but it's definitely a dual purpose room, but mainly the dining room. Here's the pantry. We have a pocket door. So if we do want to close it so you do not see the pantry from the hallway, that's definitely an option. But I mean, it's always open for us at this point. So coming back here, this is the door to the garage. We have a bathroom, our half bathroom, which I love having back here. It's so nice to have a bathroom right off of the garage. One, but two, away from the kitchen in our other house, the bathroom that all the guests would use was like right by our kitchen table. And while that's convenient, um, you know, privacy is more important, I feel like. So we have mudroom, closet, bathroom. Where should we start? Let's do the mudroom. So I did cabinetry in just a fun, different color to mix things up a little bit. Absolutely love it so much. I'm so glad I did this. The color is cast iron. It's a green. It's beautiful. And I really wanted to maximize, just because this isn't a huge mudroom area, I wanted to maximize with some vertical storage as well. So each of us have our own cubby as well as a cabinet and hook. And then the planking matches the other shelving in the house. And then on the end here, I had seen this idea. I'm not even sure where, but I really wanted to recreate a drop zone space. So somewhere to put stuff where you're just walking out the door, you need to remember to grab it, or you're just walking in the door and you need a place to set your things. This is where it's going to be. So we have like a little mail cubbies, shelves, and then more storage here. I'm actually not going to show you the garage today because we just unloaded our pod and our contractor still has quite a few of his things in there. So it's not um, time to share that space with you yet. Trust me on that, but we will definitely go there over the next few months. So just another closet for extra coats. Put all of our winter coats in there for now because fingers crossed, we won't need them anymore. And extra shoes. Not organized at all. I was actually really nervous about this bathroom, but this is like turned out to be one of my favorite rooms in the house. I know it's probably strange, but it's just the cutest little bathroom. I love it. So did like more of like the furniture style vanity in white. Carried the same floors from the rest of the house in here. Did a fun pivoting mirror. I can't remember off the top of my head where I ordered this, but I will try to, if I don't link it, remind me. The light fixture is gray. I wonder if I turn off the light. Hold on a second. You can see the light a little bit better. It's just a fun gray and black. And then once you walk in, you have your toilet there. Um, that's not really easy to share with you right now, but all the toilets in the house, I did a skirted style where it's just a straight down side. So I'll show you those in a different bathroom. So much easier to keep clean with little boys. While I'm thinking of it, let's talk about all the interior doors. So I did this, what would you call this? Like a modern two panel type door. They are the, the solid wood. And then the handles, all of the handle hardware is from Amazon. So I know for sure I do have these linked in my Amazon store. I just like the style and how it looked with this door. Coming back into the house here. Have the laundry room right off of the living room. Only one laundry room. Some of you were like, Crystal, 
put one upstairs. I cannot even keep up with one laundry room. So I just went for one big laundry room. Very happy with it. I had some fun with the cabinetry in here. I did a shaker gray style with black hardware. Just charging my battery. I just noticed that that is not looking very nice right now. My apologies. But I did do some fun things with the cabinets in here. Again, we'll do more organizing in future videos, but like this one is, I did laundry baskets in two of these uh, just to keep it out of sight. And then more cabinets on this side. Another idea I got, I'm not even sure, probably off of a Facebook group was the cabinets underneath the washer dryer. In our other house we did like some uh, handmade pedestals but I love this for just pulling out extra storage. So I have right now rugs that I'm doing like beach towels in one and they're big, I love them. Also really loving having a sink in our laundry room. So I did a pretty good size sink, enough to fill a, like a mop bucket or like rinse off muddy things. It's been going so, so well. Same countertops in here as the kitchen. And then on this end of the room, Kind of going back and forth, but I created this cabinet here to hide all of like brooms and vacuums. So this is almost like my cleaning cabinet right here. There's the outlet inside. And then hanging storage, I hang dry a lot of things. And so it was very important to have that. It's an awkward corner just based on the shape of our house. So I decided I was also going to use this corner for dog kennel. And so that's been nice. There's also a door behind there. This is a closet. It is a laundry chute. <laughs> so the kids have a laundry chute upstairs and it all just comes right down in here into the basket. We've been loving having that. I can look outside. I have a view of the driveway. And it's, this is literally like my dream laundry room. I couldn't ask for anything more, I love it. We have just a couple of more spaces on the main floor. Have my office. Now this for sure is a work in progress, so do not pay attention. I'm trying to decide on how I want to have my furniture in this room. Right now it's kind of a, just a catch all for all the things that I don't want anywhere else. I'm like, oh, let's just put it in my office, but. I went ahead and did a board and batten. I just loved it so much from our old house that I recreated the look, but then had the top painted, oh, what color is this? Is this iron ore from Sherwin-Williams? Yes, it is. So it's not black, but I mean, it, it pretty much is. It's a charcoal. So I love the contrast. And then this light fixture from Lowe's just for some texture in the room. And then in here I did sliding doors. Mainly I didn't want like folding or French doors or anything to take up space in the room. I wanted to maximize, oh, the electrician just got here, maximize the space. So I did sliding doors. I think someday we'll end up painting these or doing something a little bit different, but for now they work. I almost did black but I didn't want to do, you know, black up there. We have a black front door. I just was a little bit concerned, so I just kept it white for now. So that might be a fun project we can do down the road. One last space to share with you would be our primary bedroom. Let's go in here. Okay, it's the first time you're seeing our furniture, but I did do ceiling fans in all of the bedrooms. This one I think I ordered from Lowe's. I could be wrong, let me, I'll turn it off, but it has a wood texture to it, coordinates really well with our bedding. In all the kids' bedrooms, I just did straight black fans. And then, just to be a little bit different, add a little more character to the room, we did some shiplap just in that little window bump out area. Some can lights as well. And then behind the door here, this was kind of a last minute thing. So this cabinet was actually supposed to go somewhere else in the house, but it just did not fit. It looked too cramped. 
and we happen to have this nook with nothing in it so my idea was to put it here and just do some open shelves on the side so I'm thinking I want to store like extra bedding it's also like a bathroom uh, closet as well I store just extra toiletries and things like that in here so did the white here's a little look at the carpet it is I cannot remember I know the color name but I don't know the brand so I'll just put it down below in the description box but it is a lighter color we did the upgraded padding which what was recommended to us for pets and kids um, but the carpet itself has you know beige and gray in it so it'll really work with any color scheme that we go with I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the tour that all of the walls are painted the same color it's Sherwin Williams snowbound and I just decided to keep it light bright simple and you all know I love to paint and add put my stamp on things and so I do have plans to change out some paint here and there and do some accent walls but I just I wasn't ready to commit during the building process I wanted to see the room in person before really designing it all and so that'll be coming down the road. I'm in no rush to do it. I'm enjoying the simplicity at the same time right now. So snowbound for all the walls with the exception of our theater in the basement. Don't mind a mattress right here. I'll talk about that in a different video. Oh my gosh, I've been sleeping on pillows while we were waiting for a pod for a couple of weeks. So, so glad to have a mattress. But let's go into the bathroom. Same white walls. The floors were actually not the flooring I had picked out. However, I'm glad that we kept these, if you remember in that video. But these were my second choice. My first choice was more of a bold pattern. But I love them so much. So it's a ceramic tile. And we did do the heated floors just in this room. Feels so good in the morning and at night in here. I can't decide, I feel like it's a good grayish color. I can't decide if it's gray or beige. It's, I think it's a little bit of both. But we have a water closet or the room for the toilet. You can kind of see the skirted look there. Oh, they're so nice. I love them. The brand is American Standard. So nothing fancy or anything like that, but it's little things for me. We all know that. Have a window here. We actually are installing a chandelier have it but we need to wait um, until later to install that and then I can really uh, finish up the space in here yeah that'll all change we'll do some decorating in a future video but I absolutely love having a soaker bathtub it's amazing it really is so this is by the brand jacuzzi and I believe this is the Luna tub I like that it's super simple and just a little bit of detail, easy to keep clean. And then did the black fixtures in here. This, I did all the Trinsic, Delta Trinsic, just in this bathroom. Shower. So we did a Onyx shower. So with the Onyx shower, they don't have... Um, I don't know. There were a lot of colors that just weren't really my style. So I ended up choosing a subway tile look. And the whole idea behind the Onyx is that it's just easier to clean. It's like a slab. And so my camera's going crazy here. I did a ledge for like toiletries and products and then a bench. There's our squeegee. It's actually been going well. It's squeegeeing the glass doors. So um yay for that <laughs> and i did kind of a unique uh faucet for this room all all delta and i just want to add a little bit more character with this shower head so we have like a sprayer for easy cleaning the shower and then also the shower head and a couple of body sprays and so yeah really like that i don't know the size off the top of my head so Hopefully no one's wondering what that is. So it's a work in progress in here. We'll add some rugs and color and things like that. Once the light fixture's in, I'm waiting for that. But here's our vanity space. I turned off the lights so you can see the light fixtures because I love them. I think they're from Wayfair, but I cannot remember for sure. I actually 
bought the same ones for the twins bathroom those no I wasn't quite sure if I was going to like having this vanity in the middle but I've been loving it my husband is one I put him away for now but he likes to keep out like all the things that he needs on the counter and it drives me crazy because I on the other hand like to keep things very clean and off the counter and put away and so yeah it almost kind of blocks his side where I can't see it out of sight and it's been working out so well so love all the storage mirrors these were where did they come from I think Wayfair let's talk about our closet the closet is not completed yet we're still working on adding some more shelving and I don't even think we've like got all our clothes in here quite yet. So we're, we're still working on this area. I think I wanna switch out the hardware to black though because my eye comes from the bathroom in here. So I'll probably do that down the road. But we have these three windows, get some natural light in here. This is my side. <laughs> And this is my husband's side. You know, when we were building, I was kind of joking. Yeah, that's your corner, but it actually worked out really well, his and her side. I'll probably do some sort of an ottoman or something in the middle here. Just waiting till we have everything to see what we want to do. Lots of hanging. All those baskets, I think, are empty right now. So plenty of storage. I ordered or had him make a couple more shelves that should be coming here later this week. So it's kind of an organized mess at this point, but I think that's the story of our lives right now. Everything is an organized disaster. Let's go upstairs. I'll show you all of the kids' bedrooms and the bonus room. One thing I did want to point out is one, I guess we did do LVP going up and downstairs. And another thing we did with the electrician was we added these lights that come on automatically at night to just light the stairs. With the kids being upstairs, I wanted them to be able to see at night if they needed to come down to mom and dad's room. So have all the lights going up the stairs as well as in the hallway up here as well. Here's a look from above. Bare minimum up here at this point, it's super empty. But have a chandelier, or I guess you would call this a pendant. But I think we're going to start on this end of the house. I love that you have a beautiful view of the fireplace from up here, as well as outside. Perfect view of the pond area. For the railings, I did the darkest stain possible. Super, super dark. It's almost black, but it is, uh, you can still see the wood grain. So anyways, we have an extra mirror. That's from the Jack and Jill bathroom that I'm going to share with you here. That one was an extra because the other one kept arriving broken. Long story short, we're going to find a new home for that one. So at the end of the hallway, we have two bedrooms, Madden's, Here's Macy's. She has a really pretty view as well as a window seat. This is her favorite. She has been dreaming, as you could tell, to have this for all of her squishmallows. Yeah. And then her closet's over here. Her closet, we are actually in the process of adding a few more shelves, so it is not complete. So next week they're going to come and add some shelves in this particular area. And then if we ever need more hanging space for her, we'll still have that bar there that I can add in. So that's one thing I really like about these closets is they are all adjustable. So as the kids grow and our needs change, we can make those changes. There's her room and her bedroom goes right into the Jack and Jill bathroom, which we finally got both mirrors hung. So that was a very exciting day for her. It's been about two weeks with no bathroom mirror. I can't imagine, <laughs> poor kiddo. But yeah, so here's their bathroom. It connects to Madden's bedroom. They each have their own sink. In this bathroom, we actually did vinyl tiles. I just went with a super basic tile and I uh, just wanted to keep things super 
neutral at this point. We'll add some fun color with rugs or wall decor, but very happy with how that all turned out. The vanities are a coriander stained natty alder. Same company as our kitchen, Dura Supreme. Love how they turned out. I did not want to do a white or a black in their bathrooms because those would show everything. Kids in toothpaste these days. Their lights. I cannot remember where I got all of the light fixtures. So you'll have to let me know if there's one you see that you are interested in knowing. So we have lots of more work to do in here. And then behind the door is their shower and toilet room, I guess you could say. I really like that it has the door, so one of them can be in here showering or doing whatever, and the other can be out in the bathroom getting ready for the day, using the sink and whatnot. So they just have a basic shower here. And then we did have some extra space. So we decided to add a couple of shelves for some storage and then left some room for a hamper. Oh, and towel holders. So yeah, we'll be adding more in here for sure. But that pretty much goes for every single room at this point. I'm back out in the hallway and going to come into Madden's room. All the kids' bedrooms have these same saline fans. I ordered them from Hunter Fans. But they have a remote control, which is really nice. The kids really like that. They think it's fun. And then here's his door that goes into the bathroom. He has probably the most amazing closet out of all of the kids. I love his. So he has a window, which is amazing. Love that. And then he has all kinds of storage in here. Lots of hanging. The drawers, these shelves. I had a lot of fun designing all of their closets. Have a good sized wall in this hallway. I'm thinking maybe photos of the kids. I don't know, I wanna do something really fun here. Just not have, haven't decided yet. Bedroom number three, this was supposed to be Ethan's bedroom. But he decided after we moved in that he wanted to share with his brother. So this right now is just an empty space. So yeah, more to come on this room for sure. Oh, the twins bathroom, I love, love, love their bathroom so at first I was a little bit challenged with the outlet placement so I had to get creative on the vanity mirrors that I chose but they fit perfectly so they each have their own sink and they have the bathtub just like one of the fiber I think you call it a fiberglass there all of the bathroom fixtures are from Delta and linked in my Amazon store. Their bathroom is pretty much done. I'm sure I'll add a few things, but same vanity, the coriander stain, naughty alder, same floors, kept it super, super simple. Let's go to the twins' bedroom. We have the twins' bedroom. They have two windows, one on either side of the bunk bed. I'm gonna try to not talk about things, but we will be rearranging a few things in here. This is just how we got through it all in here for the time being. The boys were loving it. They also have a really good view of the pond and the lake. And they have a great closet as well. Lots of hanging. And then I did some shelves on this side. Clearly they're not um, being used properly yet, but they will. 
So yeah, we're looking forward to just putting our stamp on everything once we get all settled and get the rest of our things. So here is where the bonus room starts above our garage. Now this is just a furnace room. Also have this is a laundry chute. The kids love this for throwing all of their dirty clothes down. It goes straight into my laundry room closet. This area someday, so this is a large open space. And we plan to, probably within the next couple of years, do some sort of a library here. I wanna do lots of built-in shelves, maybe like an L shape here to just display all of our books and things over here. So that'll be a fun project to take on in the future. We just really didn't know exactly what we wanted to do and so we just decided to leave it for now and revisit it. So for now I just have this there but that will be changing eventually. The bonus room, this is my husband's, we'll call it man room. Let me turn on the lights. This is my husband's room to do anything that he wants to. And so his plan is to, we think, eventually. He's hoping by this fall to do a golf simulator in here. So we did have the ceilings bumped up in this particular area. And then we also did just a stained wood plank as an extra little detail. So we'll change out like the vent and I mean, we could probably change out the light lights as well to blend in a little bit better, but just not a priority yet until we know exactly what we need to do here. So for now, it's kind of a game room. This is where the boys specifically like to come and burn their energy and run. But we wanna do music room, uh, probably golf here, a uh, place to watch games. Well, we need to buy all the furniture yet. Okay, so I think that's all of the upstairs for now. What do you think of all this? Still not sure. But the last space I have to share with you is down in our basement. Should we go downstairs? Should we go? Let's go. Okay, so storage room under the steps, right here. This is going to be, or is, we call it the kid's cave. Initially, it's a automatic light, there we go. And there's another one, I'll go back there. Initially, so they have a lot of paint to touch up in here. Initially, I was going to do Christmas trees in here, but the kids took it over. They think it's a really fun space to hang out, so I'm, <laughs> they stole my lantern and uh, we're still working on it. My husband moved this out of the way so they can see all the paint touch-ups that need to get done in here. But they have blankets and pillows and squishmallows and it's it's kind it's not put together because of the touch-ups that need to get done. But the kids cave. But as for the rest of the basement, this is like I said a walkout basement. So we have beautiful views of the pond. Lots of windows, it's so bright down here, I love it. Uh, this area here is kind of a work in progress, but we did the same flooring as upstairs, the LVP, same color, as well as carpet. We just, it gets so chilly down here in the winter that we like our carpet. So we have a theater room off here, which is why it is dark. The lights are on in there, believe it or not, uh, with some countertop seating. So the whole reason we did the theater was because when we were planning and building, we found out we had to have like some posts or beams down here. And instead of having just like a post right in the middle of the room, we decided to create another room, which the theater was created. So we're gonna do some bar stools, probably two on each window so you can sit, watch the movie through the window on the theater screen. There it is, have all the speakers, some fun sconces on each side. We did sectional seating in here. This is like the most comfortable 
one I've ever sat on. It's deep and soft and works out really well. Someday maybe we'll do something different, but like recliners or something, but just the way the room was laid out. So yeah, we spend a lot of time in here on the weekends. Also work in progress. Keep that in mind. I know you know, it's <laughs> like <laughs> too much. I want to talk about everything here. So yeah, still have this open space here. Let's go down here. This is our furniture from our old house, by the way. Remember these in our living room? Yeah, so we did a fireplace down here as well. I did shiplap up above just to make it a little bit different than the upstairs, but otherwise it's the same finishes. The stone guys just fixed the hearth today, which is why that's looking dark, but it'll dry light like the rest. So don't pay attention to that right now, but we did, my contractor built a wraparound mantle there. Again, thinking Christmas and holidays. Here we go. Have the guest bedroom, bathroom. So this bathroom is big and it's bigger than I wanted, but to make it look like normal out here with the wall being the same, it just kind of worked out that way. So I definitely have some things I want to add in here, but we have a shower, just a pop-in shower. What do you call those? I don't even know. Just a shower with the bench. And then I want to do something fun over in this area. Did the black, just like our kitchen island down here to be a little different. Did the champagne bronze just so it would pop. Did a, I don't think it's really a bronze mirror, more like a brass, like a brushed brass round mirror from Amazon. And then let's see. Can you see, can you see those? Guest bedroom. Missing some pillows. We haven't come across the pillowcases yet. This is all the furniture from our old house. It's a really good size. And a window. This light fixture I initially ordered to go by our front door, but changed my mind, so it ended up in here. And then closet is a fun one in here. So guest bedroom, I was thinking, you know, we don't need a ton of hanging storage, but we still want some. So we have hanging on one side and then just shelves for a lot of bedding and blankets is what I'm envisioning. I'm sure there's plenty that I've missed talking about. So if there's anything you have questions on, Charlie, get down. What are you doing? Get down. If there's any questions you have, let me know in the comments. Okay, the other side of the basement is our basement bar area. Again, this is the same color cabinetry as our kitchen island. And I was actually going to do a different countertop, but it was cheaper not to. Uh, just buying the slabs and how it all worked out with the mapping of it. So went with the same quartz as I did upstairs in the kitchen. And the backsplash is also the same as the kitchen except for it's in a different shape. This is a square shape. And I just did the stacked, stacked look. Have my open shelves. Those will be fun to decorate. A beverage refrigerator. I actually ordered a new handle to match the rest of the hardware. It's on back order, just like almost everything else. Now eventually, so this is the only room in the basement that has a, like a window well. So there's like no view. And so this was our room that we're like, well, I think we want to turn it into a gym. So I'm envisioning we'll do a treadmill, maybe some weights in here, but right now it's, Storage for all the random things that I'm not sure where I want to put them yet. Gonna, this closet is nice too. So someday the kids might actually want to be down here. So I did 
just lots of open shelving and hanging more shelves and I forgot to mention the light this light is a fandelier see a little fan in there I actually bought this to go in my office but again I changed my mind because I decided to paint the wall black but it was too late to return this so I'm like well we'll just put it in the basement in that extra bedroom so it'll be good to have a fan for a gym that's a little bit extra for a gym but it works this is from did I say it's from Wayfair kind of a cool design on the ceiling now that I'm looking at it but yeah we've come full circle in the basement that's oh no there's one other room so this will all be a cement pad we actually have one room here this is under our sunroom dining room area that we created to be outdoor storage so there's not a way to access it from inside the house my husband really wanted to but I'm like you know what I just would rather not have another door in there so you can only access it from outside so I'll bring you in there quick here's our view by the way dirt piles landscaping we're designing landscaping right now uh, I'm gonna do a fire pit right here but that's expected to start the end of May pending weather of course probably most likely June if I had to guess but okay so we have outdoor storage room let's go check it out Someone left some tools, not sure who. But, so we had this basically finished off. There's lights, let's see, there we go. So someday we could turn this into something else if we wanted to. You know, I threw out the idea to my husband to put the hot tub in here, but he wants it outside, but like a sauna would be fun. There's just so many different ways we could use this space down the road, but really nice to have this outdoor storage at the same time like to pack up all our stuff during the winter and bring it all out in the summer but have a place to store like our lawnmowers and snow blowers and all the furniture but this is just a really unique space that we can do so many fun things with down the line so this is what the movers they just put it all in here for now until we bring it out but first we need a deck so it'll just stay in here for now okay my friends I think I've taken you on the full tour and I've talked too much in the process so sorry about that if this is long but thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave them down below in the description box so many fun videos ahead this is just the beginning all kinds of decorating organizing cleaning and it is definitely going to be a, jour a journey it's never right the first time as we've already seen so far here on my channel so going to bring you along make sure you're subscribed but anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.